Today on The Boot Guy, we are looking at the Block Louder X1600 work pant. Probably the best work pant known to man. If you're one of those guys who always has to have a pair of channel locks in your pocket, a Leatherman, a flashlight, a knife, and you just gotta have some place to keep small little fasteners, screws, bolts, even if it's wood dowels, the Block Lotter 1600 is the perfect pant for you. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice, and I understand that this is probably what throws most guys off, is knee pads. Built-in knee pads. Now, the knee pad itself can be one of two things. They have a basic EVA foam knee pad, or they have the extreme knee pad, which is extremely thick, extremely comfortable, but it does take up a lot of space and it does make it hard to walk. So the basic knee pad, the one I have in here, is probably the best one for an everyday, all day use knee pad in these pants. Now the knee pad itself sits inside a very nice pocket that just stays where it should be all day long. They easily slide in and out. They easily fit inside the pant without a problem. And when you're walking around, when you're moving around, you don't even notice that these are in there. But when you do go down on your knees to do something, whether it's to work on a pipe, to work on some molding, or to throw a few screws into something, that's the time that you're gonna be really happy to have built-in knee pads. Because having something inside there when you're down on your knees for more than 10 minutes working on something, because you know things never go as you plan. Of course not, why would they? You're always cleaning up somebody else's mess. You're always fixing somebody else's problem. So why should they go smooth? Having knee pads is a wonderful touch inside the pants all the time. All right, so one of the main questions that I got as I wore these for the last two months, and when I say I wore them, I really wore them. I mean, there has been weeks that I wore these starting on a Monday and I'm putting them in the wash on Friday. I would wear them all five days. For the last eight weeks, these things had probably been through about 12 different washings because there's been a few days I've gotten stuff on there that I was like, oh, that ain't coming out. Sure enough, the cotton that Block Lotter is using in order to build their pants, I don't know if they're treating it with something, if there's something built in, but it seems like nothing sticks to it. Blood doesn't stick to it. Grease doesn't stick to it. Everything just seems to kind of wash right out of it, and I love it. I think that's one of the plus sides to these pants. So these pockets, these swinging pockets, you have one on the left side and the right side. There's all kinds of little molly sections added. They're, they're split up, they're divided. You can fit your hand in there, you can fit a drill in there, you can fit tools, fasteners, nuts, bolts, whatever you need to fit inside the pocket, you can do it. But they are extremely handy. At first, most guys don't like the pockets. They actually make fun of it or they're just like, eh, I don't need it. But once you need them one time, they really do become part of your whole toolbox. That now, it wouldn't be a boot guy pant review if I did not talk about the belt loops. Now, there are lots of belt loops and there are some unique belt loops here. You have two right next to your fly. And this placement of the belt loops is something that I really like. Having belt loops right up front, which holds up the front of your pants. So when you bend down, when you move around, your pants stay in place. Love it. You've got two on the sides, right on your hips. And behind that, on the seat section, you have two just to the side of the back pockets. But check out that middle one, that X, the Polypropylene X belt loop. That is a wonderful belt loop to have. That really does hold up your pants extremely well. You'll see a lot of companies use one big piece of fabric back here so it stays in place. 
But when you have one piece of fabric, you're really covering up a lot of the space on your belt. And for some of us, we use our belt, whether it's to hold a tape measure, another tool compartment, or even our drills or another hand tool or something. We, we use this section of our belt. Block Lotter knows that. Block Lotter listens to us. So they left the nice big space there so we can access our belt, but our belt still functions as a tool to hold up our pants. Now it turned out to be my favorite pocket on these pants was this thigh pocket, right on the front, right in the thigh. It was a wonderful place to put a pocket. One, because I use an OtterBox for my phone, so I was able to clip my phone right into the top of there. And the one thing that I noticed is, as I was bending down, as I would kneel down or crotch down, my phone would not bite. It would stay in place and I could still hear it. When I put my phone in my back pocket and I try and work with it with other pants, one, I can't hear my phone. Two, it just seems to really dig in. Well, block ladder add in this pocket solved that problem for me. All right, the cargo pocket. Has two zippers and the flashlight attachment, plus a little place to keep your pen or if you needed to clip something to it. So you got a lot of practicality going on in this one pocket. One, the main pocket, the big side of this pocket, it's huge. You can really put a lot of crap into this pocket. And trust me, I have loaded this pocket up so much that it was hard to walk, mainly because I was just trying to test it out. And two, just a guy, I put everything in my pockets, everything I pick up. The smaller pocket, the smaller cargo pocket, I found was a perfect place to keep my wallet. Now, the zippers, the YKK zippers that Block Lotter uses, when you zip them closed, they stay closed. You don't find them opening up. You don't find them creeping. They stay in place. And remember, I've washed these pants. I've beat these pants. That zipper is still going strong. I really think that that's a quality zipper and I'm happy to see them using such a quality zipper. Now the flashlight pocket. I'm going to call it the flashlight pocket because that's what it's become for me. My flashlight sits right in this pocket and the beautiful part is that it's on an angle. So when you reach down to push something out, not only is there a clean out in all the pockets or a drainage hole or a drip hole or a seep hole, whatever you want to call it, not only is that in there, the pocket is built so when you need to get what's ever in there out, you just push on the bottom and it lifts right out. A genius design. I love this pocket. All right, let's get to the back, to the butt, to the section of the pants where we all keep our screwdrivers, our channel locks, our pliers, paperwork, our orders, whatever we're doing. The back pockets, they're back pockets. You're thinking, what's the big deal? A back pocket's a back pocket. Block ladder, like I said, they listen to us. Whenever we got a problem with the way something works or doesn't work, they listen to us and they try to improve their pants and their designs. The bellows back pocket is proof of that. So a really good example on why bellows is great. Try thinking of this scenario. You got a pair of channel locks, a full size pair of channel locks in your back pocket. I'm not talking giant channel locks, I'm talking full size channel locks. You got them in your back pocket, you bend down to get under a sink or to get somewhere to do something and all of a sudden you realize if you had regular pants on, those channel locks are digging right in your ass. By having that bellows, by having it move around, when you bend down, the pocket automatically tells the tool to move. It moves with it so the tool is no longer biting you. At the same time, it leaves the pocket loose so you can pull the tool out and use it.
I know it sounds like I'm gushing, like I'm fully in love with these pants, and guess what? I am. These are my favorite pants. If I have to go a day without wearing these pants, I am actually skeptical on whether or not I'm going to be able to do my job to the best of my ability because I'm not going to have access, not just to the pockets, not just to the knee pad, but to the comfort. And that's something that I haven't talked about yet. They are comfortable. They're not a tight fit. They're not a loose fit. They are a really good European type fit. It's not like wearing a pair of American made work pants where they're kind of ballooned in the ass and the thighs are a little bit too big. And every time you try to step up on a ladder or step up two rungs on a ladder, it feels like the crotch just doesn't move. Block Ladder builds their pants with this beautiful stitch pattern, which allows you to step up step down and move around in the pants and they don't bite and they don't bind. There's a lot that companies can learn by looking at a pair of these pants. And I really hope that a lot of the companies out there that build workwear really look at Block Ladder and try to copy the things that are beneficial to all of us when it comes to building really kick-ass work pants. So I gotta say the one thing I didn't like, there is something here that I did not like. Now, I love the belt loop. I do not like the finishing right there at the top of that belt loop that was digging into me for the first two weeks. What it is, is it's polypropylene. When you cut polypropylene, you have to melt polypropylene. And those sharp edges from the melting, they dug into my back for the first two weeks. Now, now it's a super simple problem. You tuck your shirt in, you pull your underwear up, it goes away. But for those times when your shirt isn't tucked in and my underwear weren't pulled up and I was bending down to do something and that would start to dig in, it was kind of uncomfortable. But like I said, it's a simple problem. This is not a make or break thing here. This is just a little flaw. And this is something with a little TLC or just understanding where the problem's coming from it just goes away. So that's the Block Ladder X1600 Ultimate Work Pant with built-in knee pads. Hey, if you're currently wearing anything from Block Ladder, please comment below and let guys know what you love about the pants or, hey, what you hate about the pants. Guys, if you've been wearing Block Ladder for years now, and they've been around for a really long time, if you've got some of the older ones and if you've got some really good experience with these pants, please comment below. Let other guys know what it is you love about the pants so that maybe we can get a little thing going here. Maybe this should be more of a trend for work pants. For guys that actually get down and dirty and work, maybe the Block Ladder X1600 should be where most pants should strive to be. If you want to see some detailed photos of these pants, please swing by to bootguy.com. Also, if you want to see the progress over the last two months of me wearing these pants day in and day out, check out my Instagram. I try to take a photo every other day of me in the pants, where I'm at, what I'm doing. Sometimes I can't be fully descriptive on where I'm at with the pants, but in times I can, you can see the pants and you can see them performing. So check out my Instagram. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. You know it helps out. Also, follow me on Twitter. Check me out on Facebook. And if you're inclined, Hey, support me on Patreon. Throw me a buck a month. It will totally help support the boot guy reviews and keep this channel going. Guys, if you got questions about how block ladder pants are gonna fit you based on other work pants that you have worn or used in the past, shoot me over an email. They build these pants in a variety of sizes, so they really got a lot of guys covered. But if you got questions whether or not that size is gonna fit you, feel free, shoot me an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the boot guy reviewing a pair of work pants. I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.